Hi everyone, I am Mika from Stanford University, and I will be presenting our work, Deformation-Aware 3D Model Embedding and Retrieval. This is a joint work with Jingwei, Minhyuk, Tolga, and my advisor, Professor Leo Gibas. We draw inspiration from the scan to cad problem, where the goal is to replace the incomplete and noisy 3D scan data with clean and complete CAD models. Recent approaches either solve this by shape completion, which does not result in a clean CAD model, or by CAD model retrieval. However, we cannot assume that we have the exact CAD model for every real object. Hence, our approach to this problem is to retrieve a CAD model and then deform it to better fit our query. The setting becomes more concrete with this example. Given this query model, retrieving the geometrically closest model does not result in good fitting, as it has distinct geometric and semantic differences. We aim to retrieve a model that may be initially far from the query, but results in good fitting after deformation. Thus, our problem becomes, given a query 3D model scanner image, we retrieve a model from a given shape database and deform it in order to fit the query. This enables better fitting and outputs a clean CAD model with preserved fine structures. In order to retrieve models that better fit after deformation, our goal is to construct a deformation-aware embedding space. Before discussing the design of our embedding space, we first introduce the notion of fitting gaps. Deformations introduce constraints and regularizations that ensure the plausible variations without losing the original CAD model features. These constraints prevent the perfect fitting to the desired target. As shown, when we deform the red chair into the green chair, the resulting blue chair does not exactly match the target green chair. Thus, we introduce the notion of fitting gaps, ED, which is the distance between shapes after deformation. Concretely, it is the chamfer distance after deforming a database shape S to the query T using deformation function D. In order to achieve the desired deformation-aware embedding, our goal is to learn a latent space where the distance reflects the fitting gaps between the shapes. Thus, the latent space has to satisfy the properties of the fitting gap, which are non-negativity, identity, and most importantly, asymmetry. As shown, the red chair can deform into the green chair, but not the other way around. This asymmetric property makes our problem not a typical metric learning setup. To handle asymmetry in our embedding space, in addition to shape latent code F, we introduced an egocentric distance field G for each source shape S. G is source dependent and is a positive semi-definite matrix. We use the positive diagonal matrix in our experiments. Drawing inspiration from the Mahalanobis distance, the distance in our embedding space delta given by this equation is calculated using both f and g. Delta is always non-negative because g is enforced to be positive semi-definite. Hence, it satisfies the three properties of our fitting gap, where asymmetry is satisfied because of our source-dependent egocentric distance field g. We use a neural network with a Siamese architecture to learn g for each source shape and shape latent code f for both the source and the target shapes. Furthermore, we introduce two network training strategies to learn our deformation-aware embedding space. Our first approach is a margin loss-based approach. For each query t, we select a set of candidate sources xt, where we pre-compute the fitting gaps. We then define a subset of positive samples pt and a subset of negative samples nt based on the fitting gaps being smaller and larger than the chosen threshold, respectively. We then train our embedding network using the margin loss as in standard metric learning works, where the positive distance must be smaller than the negative distance by a margin m. The difference is we use our embedding distance delta, which is asymmetric. Our second approach is the regression-based approach. For a given query, we also have a set of candidates xt with pre-computed fitting gaps. Given a query t and source s, we want the proportions of the embedding distance, p hat, to be similar to the proportions of the fitting gaps, p, over the set of candidates x t. We use an L1 loss to enforce this. Summarizing our contributions, 
first you introduce fitting gaps. Instead of taking chamfer distance between source shape S and target T, we take the chamfer distance between deformed S and T to learn our embedding. Second is the egocentric distance fields G. Instead of using a symmetric Euclidean distance, where G is fixed to the identity matrix, we learn the egocentric distance field G to be source dependent, making the embedding distance asymmetric. Finally, we propose two training approaches, namely the margin loss based approach and our regression based approach to train our network. We show in our experiments that these contributions are essential in learning our deformation aware embedding space. We use the ShapeNet dataset to generate our source target pairs for training. We trained and tested on five object classes, namely tables, chairs, sofas, cars, and planes. Moreover, we use the PointNet backbone architecture, and we sample points over the meshes to obtain point clouds as network inputs. For a deformation function D, we use a simplified version of the ARAP deformation. Please see our paper for more details. We use the same deformation function and compare our approach with other retrieval baselines. For our quantitative experiments, the goal is to achieve small chamfer distances after deformation, denoted by AD, which is equivalent to our fitting gap. We also show the chamfer distance before deformation, denoted by BD, for reference. Our first baseline is ranked by chamfer distance, where we retrieve shapes sorted by the distance before deformation, BD. Here, we have to exhaustively compute for the pairwise chamfer distances between the shapes, as there is no embedding space. Our second baseline is using a point net autoencoder trained for reconstruction. We use the bottleneck layer as our embedding space for retrieval. Next, we have CD margin, which uses the margin loss where positive and negative samples are defined by BD. CD reg uses the regression loss, but distances are also defined by BD. Sim margin uses the margin loss where triplets are defined by the distance after deformation, AD, or fitting gaps. However, we don't learn a source-dependent egocentric distance field G. G is fixed to identity, hence the distance in embedding space is symmetric. Simreg is the same setup as sim margin, but uses the regression loss instead of the margin loss. Finally, our margin loss-based approach, R's margin, uses the margin loss where positive and negative samples are defined using fitting gaps. Furthermore, it learns a source-dependent egocentric distance field G, making the distance in embedding space asymmetric. This approach achieves superior performance over the baselines. We get even better results using our regression-based approach, RSREG, that uses both fitting gaps and learned egocentric distance fields G, but trained with the regression loss. As shown, baselines such as rank CD and AE achieve lower fitting errors before deformation, as they only capture geometric similarities of the shapes without considering the deformations. However, our approaches achieve the best fitting errors after deformation compared to all the baselines, as we are able to retrieve shapes that are deformation aware. We also compare quantitatively using different evaluation metrics such as ranking, and recall, and show that our approaches still outperform the other baselines. We further show some qualitative results. Our network is able to retrieve models that better fit after deformation, despite having large geometric distances initially. Notice that the back part of the chair and the thick seat of the sofa, which are attributes that are not identical to the query. Our network is also able to retrieve a sofa with legs and a car with a trunk as present in the targets. Moreover, our retrieval plus deformation approach also allows us to preserve fine details of the source models post-deformation. As shown, our approach can also be used for the scan to CAD application, where we retrieve and deform a 3D CAD model to fit a noisy and incomplete scan. We also show some results for the image to CAD application, where we use pixel to mesh plus plus to predict an initial coarse 3D model that we used as input for our deformation-aware embedding space. We then run our pipeline and achieve a clean, deformed CAD model to fit the image. Thank you for listening. Feel free to ask any questions and please visit our project page.